Completing the new Season 16 in Fallout 76 can be made a whole lot easier by doing just a few things. There are three ways to earn your tickets and unlock each new page of the season in order to gain access to all the rewards. Completing daily challenges, weekly challenges and grinding XP for the repeatable challenge, all of which earn you score points. Each new season rewards page requires you to reach a certain level to unlock the rewards by earning a certain amount of score points. Each new level will require slightly more score points than the last, increasing the challenge as you progress. For each level completed, you'll be awarded 25 tickets, a new currency that will be related to seasons. Each item on the pages will have a different amount of tickets required to unlock, but you're free to use your own tickets to claim any of the items once you've unlocked their corresponding page. There are 13 pages that contain 130 redeemable items, with an additional two bonus pages, the first unlocking at rank 100 and the second unlocking once you reach rank 150, but does also require you to have claimed 95 out of the 140 other rewards available at this point. The first page of the season will be available right away, with first members and season pass holders able to claim a handy 5% score boost right off the bat for the cost of zero tickets. Page 2 will unlock once you reach rank 7, page 3 at rank 14, page 4 at rank 22, page 5 at rank 30, page 6 at rank 38, page 7 at rank 46, page 8 at rank 55, page 9 at rank 63, page 10 at rank 71, page 11 at rank 79, page 12 at rank 85 and page 13 at rank 92. The new addition to the seasons is the ability to purchase a season pass for 1500 atoms. This will remain active for the duration of the season. The Season Pass simply gives access to all the rewards locked behind the Fallout First membership. However, even if you have either the Season Pass or the First membership, in Season 16 you'll still have to use tickets to redeem these additional rewards from the pages that are also still required to unlock by ranking up. I'm hopeful that they may change this in future as it does feel like you're losing a benefit of the First membership, as in the previous seasons these bonus items would be granted free in addition to a level up. The daily and weekly challenges seem to have remained unchanged and each day you'll receive one free re-roller, plus one additional if you have a Fallout First membership. These can be used to re-roll any daily or weekly challenge and also have the chance to roll an epic challenge that rewards more score points. However, they will only last for 24 hours and reset at the daily reset time. You can't stack or save them for later, so be sure to use them before they expire. There are 10 premium re-rollers available, the first bundle of 5 available for free once you reach page 5, and another bundle of 5 that can be unlocked for 5 tickets once you reach page 12. There is another bundle available once you reach the bonus page 2, but they cost an enormous 75 tickets and at this point are probably fairly pointless. Premium re-rollers can be stacked and stored and used at any time. Additional can also be purchased from the Atomic Shop for 50 atoms each. I would highly recommend that you do not waste your rerolls on the daily challenges, as you'll be throwing away a lot of potential score points that you could have gained from rerolling the weekly challenges instead, as these give far more score points and are also usually the more grindy activities that you may wish to avoid. If you have a Fallout First subscription or have purchased a Season Pass, you'll be able to unlock a further three fixed score boost rewards as you progress through the pages. These give a permanent score boost. The first is available straight off the bat on page one, costs zero tickets and gives a 5% score boost. The second gives an additional 10% fixed score boost, making an overall 15% fixed score boost and is available on page 5 at rank 30 for a cost of 5 tickets. The final fixed score boost is available on page 10 at rank 71 and gives a further 10% fixed boost, giving an overall 25% fixed score boost. The standard score boosters will stack with these to give a 30% combined boost from rank 1 a 40% combined boost from rank 30, and a maximum 50% boost from rank 71. A new week in Fallout 76 starts every Tuesday at 12pm EST, 5pm GMT, and this is when your weekly challenges reset. However, due to the way in which the daily challenges work with the weekly challenges, you may want to take a more tactical approach, instead of going in all guns blazing on the Tuesday and racing to complete everything on the first day. At the start of a new Fallout week, the first thing I'd recommend doing is having a look at the weekly challenges and use your re-rolls to eliminate those that are either too much of a challenge or any that could be completed too quickly or easily by dailies in the first two days. By re-rolling any challenge, this will also give you the chance to gain an epic challenge. These will normally be slightly harder, but will award more score points on completion. Another reason why it's best to re-roll the weekly challenges over the dailies is that you'll get a lot more score points. Once you've checked through and re-rolled any weekly challenges, take a look at your daily challenges and complete all the ones that would also complete any weekly challenges. If you have any expiring re-rolls left, then use them up on the daily challenges that could potentially complete any weekly challenges. The reason for this is that in order to maximise your score earnings, you don't want to complete any of the weekly challenges until Thursday. I'll come on to this in a second. 
The only exception to this is the Daily Star Challenge, which you need to complete on the Tuesday and Wednesday regardless of what it is. The highest score earning weekly challenge is to complete three Daily Star Challenges, and therefore you'll want to have Tuesday and Wednesdays done so that you can complete this weekly challenge on the Thursday. Repeat these steps on the Wednesday, ensuring you use your new daily re-roller to eliminate or change any weekly challenge, as you'll have another chance to re-roll an epic challenge, which earns more score points. Thursday is the most important day, as by now you'll have completed two of the daily star challenges, so as soon as you complete Thursday's daily star challenge, this will also complete the weekly challenge, which has the highest score reward. But hang on a minute, remember those score boosters I mentioned earlier? Well. In order to maximise the score round for the week, this is when you'll want to use one of those bad boys. An important thing to note is that the score boosters only last for 24 hours, so the timing of when to use these is very important. Depending on how often you are able to play, you can use this to your advantage to increase your score round even further. For example, due to the Fallout 76 daily reset time, if you wait to complete your dailies for the Wednesday until, for example, 9am EST, 2pm GMT on the Thursday and use a score booster, you'll be able to boost both the Wednesday's dailies and the Thursday's dailies, plus all the weeklies. This will save you wasting score boosters and make the most out of your boosted score challenges. However, don't worry too much if you don't have so much time and can't quite be this flexible. As long as you just make sure to activate a score booster before you start any of your daily challenges on the Thursday, this will ensure you get the maximum score for the weekly challenges to help you turn those pages that little bit quicker. Just remember to complete all your weeklies before your score booster runs out to ensure you gain the most score possible. There's still one method of earning score points that we have not yet covered, and that is utilising the daily repeatable score challenge. This may seem like a lot of effort as you only earn 100 score, without boosters, for every 10,000 XP, but if set up correctly this is in fact an easy and quick bonus that can help you achieve many more levels fairly fast, especially if you use West Tech as the XP farming spot. Remember that every point in intelligence increases your XP gain from enemy kills, so adding in any number of items like brain bombs, a full set of unyielding armour, cranberry relish, playing on a team, lunch boxes, berry mantats, magazines, bobbleheads, etc, you can very quickly start to receive an enormous amount of XP per kill, thus boosting your score gain quite considerably. However, there is one last trick to gain even more XP super fast, although it will require learning a recipe and a load of nuka cola and some crafting materials. Nuka grenades! Nuka grenades do an insane amount of damage, which can then be increased with the use of perks such as Demolition Expert, so combining this with Farming West Tech can gain you easily over 10,000 damage per grenade, when timed right, making the score points just flood in. To craft Nuka grenades, you'll firstly need the recipe, which can be obtained from containers in any region. Explosive crates have the best chance for this, but it can also be dropped from larger creatures in their loot, for example Deathclaws, Scorch Beasts, Super Mutants, Honey Beasts, etc. There is a very small chance for the recipe to drop from any event and also the daily quests in the Toxic Valley region. Unfortunately, this recipe is not available to purchase at any vendors, but may be available in player vendors. Once you have the recipe, you'll need to collect a load of normal flavoured Nuka Cola, fragmentation grenades and some aluminium. Then head to a Tinker's workbench. To craft the Nuka grenades, you'll need to equip the perk card Demolition Expert at at least rank 2. Each Nuka grenade requires one Nuka Cola, one fragmentation grenade and one aluminium. Remember to also equip the Super Duper Perk card, rank 3 if you have it, for a 30% chance to craft double results. The two easiest places to collect a load of Nuka Cola is the vendor called Bubbles in the White Spring Mile and the vending machine at the Nuka World. The reason that I mention these two in particular is they also sell other flavours of Nuka Cola and it's always worth stocking up on these at the same time, as there are a few daily and weekly challenges that will require you to consume a particular flavour of Nuka Cola. Although you can craft fragmentation grenades at Tinker's workbench, you may also just want to run West Tech a few times first, as the super mutants have a high chance to drop these, which will not only give you a bit of extra XP, but also the chance to practice a route through the building. Nuka grenades damage can be further increased by adding perk cards to your build like Grenada, rank 2. But another great tip is that before you throw a grenade, switch your weapon to one with an instigating legendary effect, as this will cause your grenade to do double the damage to targets with full health, and therefore literally give you more bang for your buck. Although you might be itching to complete Season 16 and unlock all the pages as quickly as possible, I would also like to point out that it will be available to play right up until the end of May 2024, so there is really no need to worry that you'll miss out. In between now and then, there is a double score weekend on April the 25th until the 29th, and a double XP weekend on April the 11th to the 15th, which will massively help to boost up those levels. 
Remember that we also have many other events between now and then in Fallout 76 that will award extra XP, which in turn will also complete the repeatable score challenge. With the likes of the Mothman Equinox event starting on April 2nd until the 16th, Invaders from Beyond starting on April the 30th and running until May the 14th, a new Spring Cleaning Challenge event starting on May the 7th until the 21st, a Treasure Hunter weekend from May the 16th until the 20th, and of course, everyone's favourite event, with two helpings as well, of Meat Week from May the 21st until June the 4th. So despite the changes to the way Season 16 works, I think we have a pretty fun-packed few months in the Wasteland. I hope this information has been useful, and good luck unlocking all the rewards you want from the new pages. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more of my content. I'm Golden Gek, and thanks for watching. See ya!